Good evening.
Well, good evening once again. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Okay. Hello, everybody. I hope you're fine. I hope you're okay. Welcome to our session number 24 out of 25. I know it's been quite a sacrifice for many of you. I hope you're still willing to participate. And of course, to practice the language through this session. All right. I uh, just have the usual reminders as in every class for your attendance, your participation, and the time you should be available, as well as the Aspect of behavior in the session. Okay. Um, I'm afraid, yeah, we are on the last unit of contents in this space. Well, we've been doing this so far, really identifying the main idea and key details in a passage about inventory management crisis. That's the last objective for this unit, and that's what we are going to do. All right, before anything else, I might have, okay, on the chat, write any topic that you would like to address tonight, any topic of conversation or anything that you would like to talk about. I'm going to give you a couple of minutes for you to write possible uh, topics of conversations on the chat. Okay. Let us know what would be an interesting topic to address or that you would like to hear your partner describe about. For instance, we discussed about life stories. We described about horror stories. Uh, we described about job activities okay we have done that but what other type of conversation topics would you like to address hobbies probably music taste movie taste last movie last book last trip last adventure career choices anything so now it's your choice to say what topic you would like to talk about. I'm going to give you a couple of minutes for you to think of and write it down on the chat. Okay, three minutes, hurry up. No comments so far, no topics so far. Please take the plunge, be the first one, do it. Mm -hmm. Any interesting idea? Let's see, let's see. All right. Two more minutes. If you don't decide, then I'll decide for you. Nobody proposed anything? then I will have to make the decision. Okay. Hurry up. We have to do, teacher? We have to choose topics. We propose a topic of interaction, the speaking. Um, like um, a horror story. <laughs> exactly, like a horror story, career choice. Family, hobbies, neighborhood, whatever. You just write the topic. If 
nobody else suggests anything, then that's the topic we're going to choose. All right. All right. Okay. Okay. All right, no problem. Okay, today you have the freedom of suggesting a possible discussion topic or a conversation topic. Okay. Give me a simple one or an easy one or a more elaborated one. Mm -hmm. All right. None. None. No topic so far. Okay. So I might have to decide then. All right, good evening, good evening. Well, I'm gonna start calling on your names. And since no one could suggest anything, I thought we were gonna have a hard decision. I thought we were gonna have a list of topics suggested by you. What? Since no one said anything, I'm not gonna say the topic. So the topic would be the last movie you saw and what the movie was about. All right. Got it. Okay. 
spent there so many people hoping not talk differently. Yeah, it's all right. I know you always do. What there are some people who never do. So it seems that I'm the only one. So talk about the last movie you saw and what the movie is about. You saw, I'm sorry, I mistaken this. Um, I'll rewrite it. Oh. Wait a second. My typos. Good evening. Hey, good evening. How are you? Fine. Hoping uh, for for Friday tomorrow. <laughs> 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 this would be the happiest Friday ever in year. <laughs> I know. I know, I know, I know. You are not alone. <laughs> Me as well. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. So I'm going to call your name. I hope you can interact a little bit. All right. Let me see. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, I think Abigail is not here. So the next person is Atilio. Who is not here either? Okay. Elizabeth? Present teacher. Hello. Hello. <laughs> okay. Um, the last movie I saw it was The Sound of the Freedom. Mm -hmm. And it was about two children uh who were kidnapped. That is the way to say it, kidnapped. No, that's kidnapped. Uh -huh. Okay, and they were try uh well, uh police uh was trying to rescue them, mm -hmm. and and it was very sad because uh it is a real story, and we really know that that um that is happening right now and every moment eh, and we just uh live our life like anything is happening and, and this, sorry sorry about the interruption so this movie is based on a real story and where yes. does it take place and what where does it take place in what country um colombia and mexico and United States. Oh my God. Yes. The uh the kids were how, how do you say como transportados? And transported. Uh, okay. The kids were transported from Colombia to Mexico and then to United States. Mm -hmm. And it was so sad. <laughs> and were they rescued? Yes, at the end, but um, they were um abused. Yes, abused. Mm -hmm. Both, and they were uh so pequeños. Little. Okay, little. <laughs> they were so little. Oh Eight God. and twelve. I. Remember? Yes. Oh my God. Do you recommend? Mm, if you're a, a sensible person, no. Mm -hmm. Because you can cry. It's really, really touching and sad. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
the sound of freedom, you say? Yes. Okay. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I, it seems that I haven't seen the movie in a while. I guess the last movie I saw was Popo. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not quite sure, but I think the last movie I saw was a long time ago. All right, thank you for sharing. All right, next person, Emerson. Good evening, working. teacher. Can you hear oh, me? Oh, are you able to speak? Yeah, I will. I'm sorry. Yeah, I, can, I can now. Yeah, I oh. thought you were still in the call. Yeah, actually, I had a hangout. No. I forgot how to say colgar. Yeah, hang up. And hang up. Yes. Oh, huh? okay. Okay, I, I'll hear uh, you were talking about... Um, the last movie I saw, right? Yes, sir. Okay, well, as far as I remember, the last movie that I saw and I remember very well, it's, uh, well, in English, it has another name. In Spanish, uh, it says uh, out, of con out of control. Mm -hmm. uh, this movie is about a guy who, uh, in the beginning of the movie, mm -hmm. uh, he goes, he's leaving her, his, his home, mm -hmm. and there's a woman crying, and then all the house explodes. Mm -hmm. He's, uh, he's uh, getting his car and start driving. Mm -hmm. And there's a, and another story always related to the movie. Uh, it, it, there's a, a mother with, uh, with her son going late to, to the school. And uh, in a in a light stop, mm -hmm. there was this there was this guy from the from the first time, right? Mm -hmm. From the first scene. In the first scene, right? Mm -hmm. So the the lights go go green, but this guy doesn't uh, advance in his mm -hmm. car, right? Mm -hmm. And the woman starts uh, honking. Very loudly, mm -hmm. very angrily, and okay, the guy goes forward, but the, the woman uh, passes along to this guy, but she found a a, a traffic, so this guy uh, gets to her next to, mm -hmm. and starts talking uh, talking to her in a good mood about why he's uh, yelling at him. With a honk, mm -hmm. and the woman with a bad mood says, "You were not moving when it's supposed to move." Mm -hmm. And this guy says, uh, "Oh, you you think uh, do you have a bad day? Yes, I have a bad day." Says the woman. So she she was not uh, shows empathy with him. Mm -hmm. And this guy says, "Oh, so you think you have a bad a bad day? You will have it." So in all the movie, this guy chasing her, mm -hmm. kills a, a friend of her. Uh, <laughs> I want to speak a lot about the movie because it's a good movie, an action movie. You want to spoil? Yeah, I don't want to spoil you. You, <laughs> you, you, you could be found at, at Prime Video. Mm. It's with uh, the main character is uh, Russell Crowe. Hmm. Is it's just a fiction one or is it based on real it's, life? No, it's fiction. Oh, thank God. Yeah, it's fiction, but you know, a tiny, a little uh, situation. How can you change all the, the day, all the all life of a person? Mm -hmm. So at the end, he is the one that sets the house on fire. Yeah, because um. she. Because he found her wife cheating on him. Hmm. Wow. Well. That's the main reason. So he mentally he's not very well. Okay, definitely. Well, thanks for sharing. There you have <laughs> another <laughs> option if you have this taste for this type of movies. All right, thank you. 
Well, next person, Fernando says he's not able to speak. Francisco, Hazel, Julissa, Carla Ivania. Where did we get Carla? Oh, yes, just here. Luis Miguel, probably, or Luis Javier. Either or. I'm just waiting. <laughs> For Luis Javier. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, you're so patient. <laughs> Okay, now you go ahead. I try to remember what what movie I saw recently. I think oh I remember it's about a ex pilot who who worked to NASA. Mm -hmm. They contact for a different circumstance but no directly directly from NASA the, mm -hmm. he had a uh, paranormal things in in his house mm -hmm. like um uh, books uh, como se dice librera bookshelf or bookcases bookcases uh, the books book falls from the bookcases Mm -hmm. And the little child is scared that somebody tried to to send a message for 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 him. And they find a binary code or um, Morse code. Mm -hmm. They find a cor coordinates. How do you say coordinates? I don't have an idea, but. They they, they find some, the address from a uh -huh. uh, uh, place far away to, to the city. Mm -hmm. When they come, they are received from a ro robot. In, mm -hmm. in the future, the robots are marines. They they hit the the men. Mm -hmm. When he wake up, they they looking. For uh a doctor uh one woman and they say they are from nasa and mm -hmm. they explain they have a, a different anomalies from the um, uh, gravity mm -hmm. and in the far far away though from the earth they they find a a, a black hole or and they try to travel to another universe to mm -hmm. find a planet who, when the human can live because the human in the the human race in the earth are dangerous because they have a high hydro hydrogen no i don't know how hydrogen. you say hydrogen in the plants no no, the play the plants die, and the the movie is from so long, but they they came to a new planet big and but in this planet you still one minute in the earth past ten years seven years no. I remember per minutes yeah and in the last moment they try to to enter to black hole and somebody somebody something they contacted and and them send the message for back back in the past for contact the little child and the the movie is interstellar Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I try to explain, but it's so long. Yeah, I imagine. And yeah. Yeah. I bet the movie is about two hours and something. Yes, and I mm -hmm. saw that movie probably 15 uh, times. Oh my God, that's your favorite movie. 
Yes, yes. Okay. Because it's fiction and science. Science fiction. Mm. All right. And you're interested in science fiction. I see. Well, thank you. Let's see, Magdiel. Hello, teacher. Hey. I just arrived on my home. <laughs> But what is the dynamic? Oh, you talk about the last movie you saw and what the movie was about. Uh, I remember one that his name is Milagro del Cielo. Mm -hmm. I don't know uh, in English, but uh, it's, yeah, about, uh, it's about it's uh, about a man and, and woman. Mm -hmm. They are married mm -hmm. and they have a, the two girls. But one of one of them, mm -hmm. then the younger girl, mm -hmm. has a, a hard sickness mm -hmm. and it's it's going to complicate it. and it is it's so complicated it has his uh, her her sickness and mm -hmm. the doctors can found can can find uh, the solution or Result, uh, but um, they go to the other doctor recommended of other other person, and they they started with the how do you say tratamiento treatment, treatment. Mm -hmm. okay. A new treatment, but um, out of the blue, the, 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 the girl has an accident on a, on a tree in the backyard. He she she fall fall down into the tree, and uh, she has a uh, many many golpes or injuries injuries, mm -hmm. injuries and she got to the hospital but at the end the doctor can't uh, find a, um, se several problems or fracturas what do you Fractures? say Fractures, uh, they can they can uh, explain what happened in the in the accident, mm -hmm. but after after the accident, the the girl uh, start to feeling better and. Um, her her parents can can believe the can believe her because uh, he he were he was a very sickness. But at the end, uh, at the end of the movie, the she's is she's better, mm -hmm. and then I, her I mother. I saw this movie too. Her movie spent like too long all the time with her in the hospital. Um, yes. Mm -hmm. She she got to the hospital many, many times. Mm -hmm. The doctor is uh best. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I saw yeah. this movie. It's very interesting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I yeah. I like it. All right. Now he has a new movie. I think so. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you. That was great. 
Manuel. Hi. Hi. What is the question? Wait a second. Sorry, I've been coughing and I got this uh flu symptoms of this wife. All right, Manuel, it's about the last movie you saw and what the movie is about. Uh, the last movie I saw is Star Wars, the more specific, um, The Reverence of Thit. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I like this movie because, uh, well, for... The movie star on the barrel in the up on the of the Cursor planet, mm -hmm. and and I like the uh, star because the 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 fight the, the army is about the ejército. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. in the army and confront in the how the Jedi fall on the mission of the last battle, and I like this. Great. So that's your favorite movie ever. No, more exactly. I prefer uh, The Lord of the Rings. So you like Salas? <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Great. Marilyn says she's not able to speak. Mario? Roberto? I'm not here or where from. Ronald? Uh, present. Hello. Would you like to participate? Uh, yes. Uh, the last movie uh, that I saw in, in, in cinema or that I saw um, in TV? Uh, I don't know. As um, you wish. I mean, whatever yeah. is more mm -hmm. interesting. The last movie that I that I that I saw in cinema was Oppenheimer. Mm. That it was about the father, the, uh, the, about the father of the atomic bomb. So it it, it was yeah because the, there were many uh, divided opinions because um uh, a set of people they expect more action or more a, a movie more like. I don't know, more explosions or mm -hmm. something like that. But, but if it end, was just about the pattern, I mean, does it have to do with action, probably? Uh -huh, yeah, or because with that, science? Uh -huh, yeah, because it was more about uh, uh, like the, uh, it's like a revision of mm -hmm. the uh, of the of the facts that mm -hmm. the things that are occurring in the past. So mm -hmm. it was, I think that, it, that it, it, it was interesting, but uh, uh, for, I I had to to watch it two times because the first time I I slept I <laughs> <laughs> uh, I fell asleep. <laughs> uh, I I fell asleep because it because it was after um, uh, uh, the last function so mm -hmm. after a working day so mm -hmm. uh, I was I was tired and I and I fell asleep for a few it's for a minute. It's in here, you say. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> for a few minutes and I and I watch it and I watch it again. So uh -huh. yeah, I I like it, but I think that it was it, it, it has to for the three hours the three hours long it has many details that uh, you should put in attention because three hours uh, was, three hours yes. Oh my God, I have never been in a movie that long. 
now currently currently uh, there is one that is three uh, three hours and uh, thirty minutes. Oh. It's is called Killers Killers of the Flower Moon. Really? Yes. <laughs> You're the first person that ever told me that. Uh huh. But it is is very. I think that it only will only will last this 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 week because mm -hmm. I only have one person, and so I don't. Uh, I know. I don't imagine. Uh, I don't imagine that uh, not so much people will mm -hmm. <laughs> will to go three hours, and the function is at eight p.m. So My you God, should at eleven. At eleven thirty, twelve. I mean, I... Exactly because they don't start right away. They start with extras and publicity and advertising. Um, so I I don't know if the if the last function of the day I I have heard because normally I I prefer the functions around seven p.m. six p.m. But I have heard that the last function of the day doesn't show commercials. Mm -hmm. but I'm not sure. Interesting. That's an interesting fact too. <laughs> okay wow thank you now you made me think about Oppenheimer <laughs> probably I'll see it on TV once they have it on, on YouTube <laughs> all right thank you Ronald next person would be Victor Vidal, they never participate. Waldir, I don't know if Waldir is available today. I'm still at my job. Oh my God, you're being exploded. It's too late to be at work. <laughs> Sorry, Waldir. Anyways, congrats in advance because of your graduation this coming Saturday. That's very good. All right. And the last person, Carlos, never never talks either. <clears throat> Unfortunately. Okay. Anyways. Okay. I don't remember the last movie I saw, so I wouldn't be able to share either because, you know, I'm a teacher. I'm usually very busy. I'm always working. I'm always teaching. I'm always planning, grading. And besides that, I have the, I mean, besides that, I have a job from seven to five every single day, except for weekends. I teach this two hours too. So during the week, I'm mostly pretty busy. To be at seven at my job, I have to leave my house at six. And since I live at 5 p.m., so I get to my house at around 6 30 so most of my life is spent outside and then besides that I have this this curse I mean I know it's momentaneous uh but I barely go to the movies and when I see movies here at home I don't think I remember them because um they're entertaining for a while, but they're not like a movie. Everybody goes to the movie theater to see. So probably the last movie I saw was this. Oh, yeah, I think I got a movie marathon one of these days. Around two months ago, when people started uh, showing this feelings, you know, for, for the seasons. And I usually watch... <laughs> Movies that probably are not very popular, so that's the only thing I remember. Okay. What movie you watch? You watch it? I think it was a uh, uh, let's say around two or three movies of Christmas mm -hmm. season. So they all have like different names, but I don't remember the names. Okay. Oh, okay. Mm hmm. Well, this that I mean. Practically, the last content of your manual we got to identify the main idea and key details in a passage about inventory management crisis. Probably, they call it like a crisis, but it has to do with issues, you know, in inventory um, management. So, 
this question is kind of rhetorical question because it says, would you willingly do business with a company that costs you a bad experience? Of course not. Nobody would be willing to do business with anyone that cost us a bad experience in the past. Even if we have no more choices, right? Give me one second. <clears throat> All right. But I'll give you probably a couple of minutes for you to talk about a bad experience. Maybe not necessarily doing businesses because it would be great that we'll make business. But if not with somebody you work, with somebody you work on a project, with somebody you have to present an assignment with. So anybody you had let's say, not a very positive experience. I will give you an example. When I was about to graduate, I I think it was the last semester we got this. I mean, it was a long time ago, but I still remember. So imagine how the experience was. <clears throat> I worked, yeah, I was in the last semester, I guess. So I worked with a person and we were um, working on this project along the whole semester because it was a research project. And I had such a bad experience that at the end, I mean, our relationship changed totally because we had been, let's say, good friends. We have had a nice friendship for about, let's say two or three years of the career. But at the end, after all this mess with the project, because practically I ended up doing everything and paying for anything because by that time it was really hard. You know, I was working, I, I had a job and I have to go to the university. I have to work, I have to advance on the project, I have to do the research. And at the end, I, I didn't have any help from that person. So at the end, I mean, we all, I think we all took our own way. I don't want to say it's split up because we were not a couple, but we didn't have a, a friendship anymore. So that's that was the end of the friendship. So, of course, if... I found the person again, but I wouldn't hate her or I wouldn't wish her any bad, but I wouldn't be willing to work with her on anything. Even if I found her on, a, on another job, I would still remember that bad experience. So think about it, an experience or a bad experience in the past. If it's about business, fine. But if it's not about it, oh yeah, it would be nice that you talk about a business experience once you 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 want it or you started a a business idea or a project and and mostly a negative experience, right? Because if you if everything went fine, great, good, but if the experience was not so so positive. Yeah, that's the topic about. Okay. Let me know when you're ready. I'll give you two minutes.
All right, ready? <clears throat> ready, ready? Let's see who will participate. Manuel. Uh, hi. Go ahead. About what? Okay, Mama, you have to describe any bad experience you had in the past when you uh, intended to work with someone or present the project. Hi. Got it? Well, if not, we're going to choose somebody else. Okay. Oh, it's Manuel again. I'm sorry. Carlos? Carlos again. I think this wheel knows things. Magdiel. Hello, teacher. What, Hi. Was, what was the question, teacher? If you ever had a bad experience when you intended to work with somebody on a project or on a business? Uh, about if I if I had a business or project. Mm -hmm. uh, when I was studied on, on ITCA, mm -hmm. I had a project with a with a classmate, but um, there were a, a, a competition or, or a, it was at, uh, at the end of the course, there, okay. there were a competition and we had a poor, poor uh, performance. I don't know, for for place, for the lugar, como 
at the fourth place. Fourth place uh, between the around the one hundred projects. Mm -hmm. And after the, the after that, I I oh, oh at the moment I have the I have this project, but I I don't use I don't use it. It was a no. It it is a machine machine to to. Um, how do you say rectificar or si rectificar? Correct. Sorry? Correct. Yes, but uh, it's another context. Uh, mm. For example, the, the the this this break of the car, mm -hmm. uh, it has a. a um check every maintenance but this machine is is to do uh, without this ensemble of the car mm -hmm. normally uh, um every time that you 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 go to the mechanic or you have to do the maintenance the brake system system brake Mm -hmm. You have to disassemble of the car and go to the other other shop to to, to get this the display. Yeah, uh -huh. mm -hmm. but in this in this case, uh, you you haven't to no you don't you don't you disassemble don't of the car. Oh, right. Yeah. Uh -huh. All right. Interesting. That was a, yeah. That so, was the project. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> wow, very useful. Mika, Mario Ernesto. Again, the same person.
Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Oh, so we had to talk about a bad experience. Mm -hmm. That's okay. What yeah. I understand. Okay. So you have a bad experience? Maybe with a business. No, maybe like a project like in my thesis that first uh, we, we were supposed to before, but at the end we were only two, we got only two. We were only two that, that work. Um, um, for my bad luck or for my career, like, yeah, I mean, uh, like, uh, even if we were only two, I, I feel that the other girl just put me the thing that she doesn't know how to do, but it was very important for the thesis. And I finish, and I have to do a lot of the, the work at the end. And I know that, that that person have a lot of problem in that time, but it was not very responsible there. <laughs> so I think that what that was like a bad experience. And the worst and the worst part is that that at the end, she and another and another partner um fine because the other one don't do anything. We was like um and right now we we and I don't know I, and and something happened between us that at uh, even in the present we we don't talk. <laughs> it's like we were stay away from each other. <laughs> so I think that I, that was like a bad, bad experience. But I don't know. I don't know if you have a bad experience with a project or with a business. Okay. Um. Yes. And sorry to hear that. Um, my bad experience, maybe at the beginning, uh, at the university, um, to the second year, I have a subject called Dibujo Tecnico, and we have to make a project at the end of the cycle. I don't know if, if, if it's the correct name. And the professor, the teacher, was uh so um, like exigente, and if we make a mis, if we, yes, if we make a mistake, we have to repeat it and repeat it, and it not was just one time, um, to um correct the mistake. We have to do it like. 10 times and well we with my classmate uh didn't sleep well because we uh, have to make that project and we sleep yes. slept at 2 a.m or 3 a.m try to finish the project and at the end, we didn't uh social socialized the project because we were not selected. It was sad, but at the same time, it was well because we didn't we uh wanted to explain the project, but it was hard. So. That is my bad yeah. experience. Yeah, I, this is like very difficult. <laughs> yeah. Yes.
Okay. We're done with this part? Yes. Then we have this reading, this article. Well, it's not an article, just an excerpt from an article. Let's read the following excerpt about inventor issues Walmart has experienced. Identify main ideas and key details to answer the questions below. Out of stock problems, Walmart had them too. With over 11,000 stories in 27 countries and an average of 32 billions and billion dollars, of course, right, in inventory, Walmart supply chain is an impressive logistical accomplishment. Nevertheless, Walmart out of stock problem has been making waves in the recent years. Analytics have attributed Walmart's problem to mismanaged inventory. Walmart's logistics are calculated with extreme precision, despite the meticulous detail that goes into the optimizing Walmart's processes. Many shoppers were still not getting the experience they expected from the retail store. If it's not on the shelf, I can buy it, a customer said in an interview. According to insiders, there were many cases where stock was available in storage, but due to shortages of stock, it got delayed for moving out to the shop floor. Customers gradually stopped shopping at Walmart because of bad service and empty shops. In management worsened the problem by far the by cutting back stock to save in cost. In this case, Walmart failed because they didn't anticipate the forecast, the effect that their out of stock inventory level would have on the customer's experience. Even for giants like Walmart, inventory management remains the core of their business. All right, <clears throat> I'll give you some minutes again for you to write or read it. And of course, try to answer the questions related to this excerpt, okay? Most importantly, try to read, analyze, understand, and Try to make the right intonation and pronunciation when reading. So my recommendation is always to read as if you are reading aloud for someone. Obviously, on this set of uh, classes online, you don't need to, I mean, be heard. You don't need to turn on the microphone. You can read it for yourself with the microphone off, but try to do it, all right?
Hello, partners. Hello, good evening. Hi, good evening. Did you finish? Yes. Did you finish? Yes. Okay. Yes. Do you want to share the answers? I'm going to share my screen. Okay. 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 okay, what is Walmart average inventory? Uh, 32 billion. Well, 32 probably, billion. Uh, it's 32 okay. Million. Yes. Okay. Number two, Walmart's problem is attributed to. Uh, I also have managed inventory, mismanaged inventory. Um, Manage three, letter C is okay. Okay, yes. Okay. What caused mm -hmm. delay to move a stock out of the shop floor? floor? I also have letter B, a shortage in staff. And number four, how did the stock problem become worse? Uh, I also have a uh, letter B, Walmart cut staff to saving cost. And the last one, uh, why did Walmart fail to fail at inventory management? Uh, I also have, they didn't forecast an issue with inventory. Okay. Okay. Do you want to read? Read the paragraph. Okay. okay, one paragraph. You and one paragraph. Okay. I okay. I'm going to start a uh, next. Okay. Mm -hmm. Out of out of stock problem. Walmart had them too. Uh, with over 11,000. Is okay, 11,000? Yes. 11,000 yes. stories in 27 countries and an average of $32 billion in inventory. Walmart supply chain is an impressive logistical accomplishment. Nevertheless, Walmart's out-of-stock problem has been making waves in the recent years. Analysts, analysts have attributed Walmart's problem to mismanage, mis, how, how do you pronounce this word? Mismanage. I yeah, think that I is think like mismanage. 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 Mm -hmm. Mismanage inventory. Okay, thanks. Mm -hmm. Walmart's logistics are calculated with extreme precision, despite the meticulous detail that goes into optimizing Walmart's process. Many shoppers were still not getting the experience they expected from retail store. If it is not on the shelf, I can't buy it. A customer said in an interview, according to insiders, there were many cases where stock was available in storage, but due to a storage of stuff, it got delayed for moving out of the shop floor. Customer gradually stopped, stopped shopping at the Walmart because of mm -hmm. bad service and empty shelves. And management worsened the problem by for cutting back staff to save in cost. In this case, Walmart failed because they didn't anticipate and case the effect that their out-of-stock inventory level would have an 
will have it on the customer experience, even for a game, games like Walmart. Inventory management remains the core of their business. Okay, if you want to read, okay. Just a one. Um, I will start. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Uh, out of stock problems, Walmart had them too. With over 11,000 stores in 27 countries and an average of 32 billion in inventory, Walmart, Walmart's supply chain, uh, nevertheless, uh, Walmart's supply chain is an impressive logistical accomplishment. Nevertheless, Walmart's out of stock problem has been making waves in the recent years. Analysts have attributed Walmart's problem to mismanaged inventory. Walmart's logistics are calculated with extreme precision, despite the meticulous detail that it goes into optimizing Walmart processes. Many shoppers were still not getting the experience they expected from the retail store. It's, uh, if it's not on the shelf, I can buy it, a customer said in an interview. According to Siders, there were many cases where the stock was available in storage, but due to the shortage of stuff, it got delayed for moving out to the shop floor. Customers gradually, uh, customers gradually stopped shopping at Walmart because of bad service at empty shelves, and management worsened the problem by further by further cutting back staff to saving costs. In this case, Walmart failed because they didn't anticipate and forecast the effect that the out of stock inventory level will have on their customer experience. Even for giants like Walmart, inventory management remains the core of their business. Anyone else? Uh, okay. Um, of the stock problems, Walmart had, had them too. With over 11,000 stores in 27 countries and an average of 32 billion in inventory, Walmart supply chain is an impressive logistical accomplishment. Nevertheless, Walmart's out of stock problem has been making waves in the recent years. Analysts, 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 analysts have uh, attributed Walmart's problem to mismanaged inventory. Walmart logistics are calculated in extreme precision, despite the me me meticulous detail that goes into optimizing Walmart process. Many shoppers were still not getting the, uh, the experience they expected from the retail store. If it's not on the shelf, I can buy it, a customer said in an interview. According to insiders, there were many cases where stock was available in storage to do the due to the shortage of staff, it got delayed for moving out of the short floor. Customers gradually stopped shopping at Walmart because of bad service and empty shelves, and management worsened the problem by far cutting back the staff uh, to save co saving costs. In this case, Walmart failed because they didn't anticipate, anticipate and forecast the fact that the out-of-stock inventory level will have on the customer experience. Even for giants like Walmart, inventory management remain the core of their business. Okay, super. Okay, it's okay.
Well, there are some people who sit in the breakout room. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Any volunteer would like to read? Mm -hmm. All right, Miguel, thank you. Okay, teacher. Uh, uh, I just a question. Mm -hmm. I will pronounce accomplishment. Accomplishment, okay. yes. Um, the other word is mis mismanaged. 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 Yes. Remember okay. that the word is managed. So if you put miss before, you just say mismanage. Misunderstand. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. Okay. Out of the stock problems, Walmart had them to with over 11,000 stores in 27 countries and an average of $32 billion in, in inventory. Walmart's supply chain is an expressive logistical accomplishment. Nevertheless, Walmart's out-of-stock problem has been making waves in the recent years. <clears throat> Analysts have attributed Walmart's problem to mismanaged inventory. Walmart's logic, logistics are calculate, calculate with strength precision. Despite a meticulous detail that goes into optimize, optimizing Walmart's process, many shoppers were, were still not getting experience they expect from the retail store. If it's not on the shelf, I can't buy it. A customer said in an inter interview. According to insiders, there were many cases where stock was available in storage, but due to its short shortage <clears throat> of staff, I got delayed for moving out of the shop floor. Customer gradually stopped shopping at Walmart because of bad service and empty shelves. And management worsened and problems by for further cutting back staff to saving costs. In this case, Walmart failed because they didn't anticipate and forecast an effect the, that their out of stock inventory level would have on the customer experience. Even for giants like Walmart, inventory management remain the core of their business. Nice, thank you. Good job. Okay. Well, then you have the questions regarding this. Let's see. Good, good, good. All right. So what is Walmart's average inventory? You have that answer already? Thirty two million, thirty two billions, or three hundred and twenty two billions. Uh huh. What's the answer? Anybody? What's Walmart's average inventory? 
32 billions. Letter B, right? Okay. What's the problem? What's Walmart's problem attributed to? Logistics, software implementation failure, mismanaged inventory. Let's see, mismanaged inventory. That was the right one. What caused the lace to move a stock out to the shop floor? Shortage in machinery, a shortage in staff, or a shortage of distributors? A shortage in staff. Yeah, people are important, okay? <laughs> How did the stock problem become worse? Customers stopped shopping, Walmart cut the staff to saving costs, and the stock was delayed. Walmart got the staff to save in cost. Imagine. More problems. <laughs> Why did Walmart fail at inventory management? They didn't forecast an issue with inventory. Process were not optimized. Supply chain was inefficient. No, uh, they didn't forecast an issue with they inventory. They didn't forecast the issue with inventory, right? So they, they couldn't foresee it, what was coming. All right, nice. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Okay. Well, I think it's done now. We get the attendance for the last time. And just a reminder, tomorrow we're going to do a review. And it's very important that you attend because of the you know the policies of INSA for they usually give you a survey on the last session so it's part of the formality and the process of INSA for so make sure you join us all right let's see utility let's just start with Abigail Atilio hi Cecilia, Stephanie, present, Emerson, present, present, Fernando, Francisco, Hazel, Juan Antonio, Julissa, Carla, Luis Javier, Luis Miguel, Present. Magdiel. Present. Manuel. Present. Marilyn. Mario. Roberto. Present. Hi. Ronald. Victor. Vidal. Present. Walid. Present. Carlos. Okay. Good. Is there any question? Any questions? No, teacher. No, done. Did you finish the final exam? Are you yes, saving sound but... for tomorrow? The, the errors on the platform that you recorded is still pending. Okay. Yeah, no problem. Okay. Anyone else? Uh, teacher, I have a question. If I if I could, uh, um, how do you say, uh, stay uh, after the class, mm -hmm. please? Mm -hmm. Sure. No problem. All right. Anyone else? No, teacher. Good night. All right. Good night. See you tomorrow for Halloween celebration. <laughs> Just kidding. It's a joke. Good night, teacher. Good night. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Some people waiting for the candies trick or treat tomorrow. Impossible. Trick or transfer. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that sounds better. A lot better. <laughs> yeah, why not? I'm going to use it. <laughs> okay. That's good. I'm a spooky issue at work. <laughs>
<laughs> many, by the way, many. I found so many. Teacher, um, I have I have adopted in, in a situation because mm -hmm. I'm uh, I'm a very very overdue in the in the platform. So I had a doubt that I was I, I have heard that today is the we conclude the the this level of mm -hmm. of the program or mm -hmm. I, I I don't know. But tomorrow we have class and you will continue with us uh, in the next levels. <laughs> oh my god wait wait a second i'm gonna check the platform first of all i want to see the progress what has happened because i i uh, the last month in in my work it has ah, been impossible so... issue. Uh -huh. you were uh, misplaced I... of level Yes, because currently I I have had in, in different in different projects and uh -huh. so I it, it was not possible to uh, to advance in the platform uh, mm -hmm. until now. So I don't know if, how much um, how much time I could. Let me see. Apparently, you should be already on the platform. No, 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 no. I'm checking. Double checking. Give me one second. Come on, what have you done so far? Uh, One, honestly, honestly two, nothing in the platform. Nothing. Mm -hmm. Okay, according to the dates that the platform closes, because I don't see your name. Have you gotten into the platform or nothing at all yet? Uh, yes, what I remember, uh -huh, that I, um, I log in. Uh, uh -huh, no, I, I entered. But I am uh, in Fernando Francisco, here, Madeline, and Hazel, Jonathan, Juan Antonio, my dear, Manuel, Mari, but I don't see your name. Let me, okay. let me share the screen because you should be here already. That's the progress. Yo soy Roberto. No, I don't see your name. So try to log in and let me double check what the last day for uh, this should be. Okay, okay, and I don't know how much. Uh, for example, my 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 main uh, my but main sure. goal mm -hmm. was to was to complete all the all the assignments uh, during the, the weekend. weekend. But I don't. I think uh -huh. you'll be able to. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, you'll be able to because according to the dates, they give you like, let's see, yeah, we finish tomorrow, and the mm -hmm. next course, I don't know, I don't know the they call it facilitadores, the facilitator they will assign to the mm -hmm. next level because they they don't usually assign the the same group to the same teacher. So oh, you will okay. have mm -hmm. uh, you will have approximately let's see the weekend yeah the weekend mm -hmm. is fine if let me check the calendar mm, probably still Monday it's still Monday oh, will be okay. open yeah mm -hmm. and you need at least the eighty percent eighty percent okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think there won't be any issue. 
Ah, okay, okay, perfect. So mm -hmm. yeah, tomorrow will be. I I thought that today uh, will be the last the last class, but it's because tomorrow. of the content. No, it's tomorrow because of the serving. Mm -hmm. It has to be ah. tomorrow, and because it has to be twenty five sessions. Ah, okay, okay. Even perfect. though I was delaying all the material because I know the material is little. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, no problems. Don't worry. Okay, uh, okay. Um, thank you so much and no have problem. a have a great night and see you tomorrow. Okay, you too. See you tomorrow.